walls. Can't hear anything behind them, even yours. But with walls, whether or not you choose to speak is irrelevant. I've been trying all this time to get you to say something, and when you do, it's a little insulting. But I'm glad you're finally talking. We've had some appointments where an hour would go by and you wouldn't say anything at all. I got paid just to stare at you. So? I didn't get my degree in staring at people. You might as well have. What's that supposed to mean? It means you probably paid up to 20 grand a semester to sit in a room and stare at a guy lecturing you on how things should be. See, that's the thing about schools. They tell you how things should be, not how things could be. I've broken through a wall. You should talk more often. I don't always like what you have to say, but I think I might need it anyway. I don't like to talk. You like to talk when you're defending yourself. Wouldn't you? Maybe, but don't you ever just enjoy talking without self-defense? Don't you ever want to speak without a wall in front of you? What are you here for? To find the meaning of life. <laughs> That's difficult. Bullshit. I'm just young. Can't be hard for you. You don't always have to call bullshit on things. Hell, you just knocked my entire graduate studies and I didn't complain. But if I criticized your passions, I think you would. If I said your poetry is shit, you would be upset. I think that's what separates me from you. The doctor from the patient. The teacher from the student. 